Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Fountain Pen Showdown Day. I'm going to take a look at two Jinhao pens. They're also fairly inexpensive and they're also quite small. The first one is the Jinhao 992. This one's in the green colour. There's loads of colours available. And that's going to go up against the Jinhao 82. Again, quite a few colours available in that. Just look at the size difference between them already. So join me now down on the table. We'll take a look at the pens, walk through the body, do some size comparisons, some weights and measures, a writing sample, and then I'll give you my thoughts and my scores for these pens. Welcome down to the table. Well, here we've got today's pens. We've got the Jin Hao 992 in this beautiful like a transparent green colour. Really like the look of this. And we've got that Jin Hao 82 as well. Let's start by taking the walk through the body. So the first thing we can see, the first big difference, is the size. The Jin Hao 82, lot smaller than the Jin Hao 992. Next thing is the shape. The Jin Hao 82 got flat top and bottom, whereas Jin Hao 992 has got that more rounded one. Jin Hao 82, very similar to a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. The clips, they look very similar. You'd expect that. Slightly gold colour here on the 82, where we've got the silver colour here on the 992. Both of them cartridge converters. We can see the converters there, so I don't really need to unscrew them. Other than that, though, there's not very much of a difference between the two. They look to be the same width. We'll have a look when we do our weights and measures. The caps, they are different. Here on the Jin Hao 992, we've got quite a wide cap. We've got Jin Hao here. Got some engraving there. We're coming round. And then we're coming back to Jin Hao. With the 82, we've got Jin Hao. And again, we're coming round. Don't see any other engraving. We're back to the front. Let's take the caps off. So we go half, one, about one and a half turns to take the cap off on the 992. With the 82, half, one, one and a half, nearly two turns to take the cap off the 82. So there's a difference as well. Let's take a closer look at the nibs. So starting with the 992, this is all silver colored. We've got a nice decorative border. We've got underneath the breather hole, the Jin Hao logo, the word Jin Hao, then F for fine. With the 82, here we've got a two-turn nib. So we've got a border in that gold color. Then we've got back to that silver color and virtually identical then. We've got the decorative strip. Underneath the breather hole, we've got the Jin Hao logo, the word Jin Hao. This time though, it's a medium. So we've got M for medium. The nibs virtually identical in every other respect. Let's swap on over and do some size comparisons. So we're starting with my two standards. I've got the Pilot Metropolitan and the Lamy Safari. The 992 to me looks very, very similar to the Metropolitan in terms of its length and its overall shape. Yes, there's lots of other differences. The Metropolitan may be just a little bit longer. The Safari, definitely longer than them. Let's take the caps off. With the caps off, slightly different story here. The Metropolitan, now longer than both of the other pens. The Safari, obviously, is longer. The nibs on the Safari, we've got a Jin Hao nib on there. I've taken the nib off this and actually put on a Jin Hao 80, so I just swapped the nibs over. These pens, really, they're designed to be posted. We'll start with the 992. So, in the hand, you can see it's looking fairly short. It's usable. I can get away using this unposted. But if I post it, it's a lot more comfortable. Doesn't feel overly back heavy. Seems to be a better fit in my hand. So generally, unless I'm writing just a sentence, I use this pen posted. With the 992. If I can avoid throwing my caps around, here's the 992 in my hand. Does feel a little bit shorter. Still, it's usable, but only just. Let's post it. Now we're feeling a lot better. 
And again with this one, if it's a sentence, I'll use it unposted. But more than that, I'll just post it and write away. And I find it's not too bad. Let's swap over and fetch some pens that are in roughly the same price range. So for this comparison, I struggled to find some pens that weren't Gin House, but I got there in the end. So we've got a Bauer 79, $3.77. The Gin How 992, $2.22. The Gin How 82, $6.14. And the Platinum Preppy, $7.79. These, as I've already said, other than Jin Hao pens, these were the ones that I could find. You know, both these pens fairly long. The Bauer, that's cartridge converter. The Preppy, I actually eyedropper this, but it does come with a cartridge and you can buy a Platinum converter separately. Let's pop the caps on. Here are the pens with the caps on. You know, again... The two pens are brought in slightly longer than the others. Let's swap on over and fetch in the rule of measuring. Here we've got the rule of measuring. We're going to start with the 992. So with the cap on, that comes in at 13.4 centimetres. Unposted, we're looking at 11.7 centimetres. Then posted, Here were 14.4 centimetres. The width of the body at its widest is 1.18. The width of the cap, 1.38. And the section goes from 0.9 up to 1 centimetre. So fairly thin. Doesn't feel too bad though when I'm writing. I do know it's thin, but it's livable. And when you consider the cost, it doesn't really matter that much. With the Jin Hao 82. So with the cap on, here we're talking 12.3 centimetres, so about a centimetre shorter. Unposted, 11 centimetres, so that's about 0.7 or 7 millimetres shorter. Posted, 13.9, so that's about half a centimetre shorter. The width of the body at its widest point is 1.3, so about 1 millimetre wider. The width of the cap, 1.4, so near enough the same. The section, slightly wider, goes from 0.98 up to 1.07. And you can feel that difference in the section. It does feel a lot more comfortable. Let's take this out of the way and fetch in the scales of weighing. Here we've got the scales of weighing. Let's start with the 992. Full pen. Now, there is some ink in here. 17 grams, very, very light. Body only, 9 grams, exceptionally light. The cap, 7 grams. Very light pen, you can tell that when you're writing with it. With the 82, 20 grams, so a little bit heavier. The pen body, 11 grams, so that's 2 grams heavier. You can't really notice it, can you? And then 7 grams for the cap. Both pens very, very light. Let's swap on over and fetch in the notepad of testing. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out. And as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos and then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. Here we've got the notepad of testing. Let's start then with that Jin Hao 992. So here we go. Our writing samples, I love doing these. The Jin Hao 992 with a fine nib. Price wise, $2.22. When a pen's this cheap, I do put the cents because it's worth it, because it can make a difference. The ink, diamine, velvet emerald. A 
Love this ink colour. Really, really nice. Drying times. Immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm going to repeat the 30 second test. I've just had a little bit of a technical snafu. My recorder for my voice stopped. So I've just had to reset everything. So let's go for 30 seconds again. Went nearly dry there, one minute. Then as we expect, that's dry. Let's look for any line variation. So here's with no pressure. Gonna add a teeny bit of pressure, not a lot. I don't want to end up damaging the nib. Do see a slightly wider line. No pressure with, none with, none with. Going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen write. That's nice, there's a nice feedback on this. I really like writing with the 992s that I've got. When you consider how cheap they are, they're a very nice, very consistent, very reliable pen. Final test, my flow test. Really well there. So that's a Jinhao 992. Let's just move this up, I might even angle it a tiny bit. Makes it a bit easier for me to write with. We're now going to go for the Jinhao 82. So we've got here, as you can see how short it is, a Jinhao 82. Now what I'm going to do is just give this a little bit of agitation because this is a shimmer ink. Let's see if we can get any of that shimmer to show. And we are agitating this a bit, spinning it around. Can't see any shimmer lying around there in the converter. So this is a medium nib. Price-wise, $6.14, quite inexpensive. The ink is by Diamine, and it's Tempest. As I say, this is a shimmer. Let me just do a little scribble there, see if we can get any of that shimmer to show. On this Oxford Optic paper, I normally get to see plenty of shimmer. Drying times, immediate. 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute. After a minute, that's still smudging quite a lot. We'll do a 2 minute test. 2 minutes, now we're nice and dry. Line variation, so here's no pressure, here's with some pressure, so ever so slightly wider. This does feel a little bit um, stiffer than the previous one. Let's move the mic down to the page to write a sentence, and for this one I'm going to post the pen. About the only difference I can see and feel there, the nib just feels a bit stiffer. But in terms of the audible feedback, in terms of the way it feels when I'm writing, feels very, very similar. Line uh, flow test even. I don't know, I was jumping back in time then. There we go. Flows really well. Right, let's see if there's any of that shimmer showing up. So, not sure what the camera's catching. Helps if I actually get it in the camera, doesn't it? There we go. Not seeing that much in way of shimmer. 
So what are my thoughts and my scores for these pens? I like both the pens. You know, they're good quality cheap pens. I have heard some people saying that they've had issues with Jinhao nibs. Maybe I've been lucky, but I think I've only had one where there's been an issue. The rest of them I've had no issues with. So bear that in mind. Pen looks. I love this gorgeous green colour. It's so nice. I love that it's slightly transparent so I can see that ink sloshing around a little bit. Really nice. With the 82, I love the shape. Yes, it's a little bit on the short side, but that's not a problem. I love the demonstrator nature. I say, unfortunately, be because, and I didn't show this earlier, we've got metal fittings. So it's not really going to be suitable to eyedropper, which is a shame. So if they'd have been plastic fittings, I could have potentially eyedroppered this pen. But yeah, I quite like it. It's quite nice and I can still see the ink sloshing around. Pen looks, going to give them both an 8 out of 10. Build quality, well, had no issues. I've got about 8 of the Jinhao 992s and I've got about 3 with the Jinhao 82. So no issues with any of them. Build quality, 8 out of 10. Writing experience, both of them felt the same. Yes, the 82 does feel a little bit shorter, but once you post it, it's perfectly fine. Same with that 992, a little bit short, but again, once posted, perfectly fine. Put down a nice line, quite nice. Going to give them both an 8 out of 10. Ink flow, as we've seen here, no issues with the ink flow. Both of them write really well. I've never had an issue with them. You know, even the Tempest with a shimmer ink isn't causing that much of an issue. So for ink flow, both of them, 8 out of 10. Comfort. Well, they're both small pens. They're cheap pens. You know, they are what they are. The 82, a little bit shorter, but as I've already said, once it's posted, it's fine. I don't really have a problem with them. The Jinho 92, a little bit on the narrow side, but again, not unusably so. So for comfort, going to give them both an 8 out of 10. Value for money, always the interesting one, isn't it? $2.22. There is only one score to give this for value for money. That's a 10. You cannot beat it. You know, it's cheap and it writes well. 10 out of 10. For the 82, a little bit more cost. You know, you're talking, what, another $4.00. Still, it's a good quality pen for what you're getting. For this one, 9 out of 10. So that means the total scores for the Jinhao 992 with Diamine Velvet Emerald is 8.33. And for the Jinhao 82 with Diamine Tempest is 8.17. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Have you got either of these pens? Have you got both of them? Have you ever compared them against each other? I'd love to get your thoughts and your comments on these. Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.